Hey there everyone out in YouTube land, this is your boy Mac, and welcome to Metal Lancer Gaming. Welcome back to my returning viewers. And today, well, I already uploaded a, uh, a Fallout 4 video, so now yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some more Kingdoms of Amalur, Re-Reckoning, Fate Sworn. So yeah, let's do it. Let's get some. Let's play. Okay, what am I doing here? What was that? Okay. Can't get back there for some reason. Alright. Oh yeah, that's the thing I killed. Loot rock troll. Take all. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to head out this way. Alright, not a problem. It's been a while since I played this. <laughs> I only ever played it once before. Well, I played the original Kingdoms of Amalur. But this one is a bit different. First off, the graphics are so much better than they were in the original. Like, oh yeah. Okay, no going back in there now. Now level up. Sweet. Hidden. Yeah, let's go detect hidden because why the hell not? I, I'm guessing that it's, uh, oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, fateless one, eh? All right, not a problem. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Inventory, what have I got here? Battered armor, battered armor, dead chorus. Now, plus 12% critical hit. Okay. Uh, melee block e efficacy. All right. Yeah, I think we'll go with the deaded curious. Oh. 
right? Yep, I guess that'll work. No problem. All right. Oh. Okay, Simmel bowls. All right, good. Items. Yeah, repair kit. Nice. A lock pick, of course. Can't go through a uh, fantasy uh, RPG type game without lock picks. <laughs> All right. Speak with a Fate Weaver and Gohart. All right. Okay, cool. Let's go. I told them we needed more guards. I saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did they really have a troll? I don't know how the Twatha found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. We started building here when they found Prismere in the mines nearby. Never thought we'd see Twatha this far out west, though. Fate weavers? Bah, charlatans! You swears <laughs> by them. But I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. <laughs> Hughes ran off, you say? I wouldn't worry too much. The old man's tougher than he looks. And he's always got a plan. They're technically a type of wild fae. Related to the fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twatha also use them in their army. I never did trust fae to begin with. Well, those Twatha are the worst sort. They waged some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? You tell me all both, no pal. The well was incredible. But it took armloads of Prismere crystals to keep the thing active. That's why we built it so close to the Stone Candle Mines. They even put in a few tunnels to deliver the crystals directly into the well. I told them it wasn't safe. Looks like I was right. Again. Hmm. <laughs> I like this guy. Good luck out there. Okay, pulsing circle on my mini map. Oh, it's this, huh? You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But Jeez. knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. 
He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You! You're the one! Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Coming, all right. All right, reckoning mode. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Okay, that was badass. That was badass for so many levels. Oh my god. <laughs> what? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? I'm a bad motherfucker. That's right. I'm a badass. You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. Hmm. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. Hmm. Yeah. That's fine, but you don't have to. But I can see that you're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your thread in the weave of fate. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am, but still, I've never <laughs> seen someone whose fate was just missing. At least he missed Not even when I was drunk as the King of Balance. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. How is it is. Nice. Uh, 
I'm going to stay with Fateless One for now. Yeah, we'll go melee. Why the hell not? I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally, the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. Mm, gee, thanks, asshat. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. Hmm. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. Oh, all right, whatever. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrun. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. Hmm. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. <laughs> He's a damned good Fate Weaver. Uh -huh. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. Alrighty then. The Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies mm. of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the oh, old goody. traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty. Soon. <laughs> Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. The Tawatha aren't like any Fey I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. Okay, what we're good. This all mean? Hold on, let me see if I can pick up this sword. Oh, wait a minute. What's 
the question mark thing going on here? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? What could this all mean? Yeah, it really don't matter. Dead cow, huh? Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. Uh -huh. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Okay, good to know. Okay, cool. Didn't work. Hell, didn't even piss him off. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, cool. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. Hi. I swear I spotted Doppelfar in the woods, but I've been wrong before. You picked the wrong village, friend. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fey, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission oh. closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned oh. up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Oh. Not at all. Oh. 
What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has them and they all stink, so yeah. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. My life's always in my own hands. The brothers of St. Odwigs are an odd sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. <laughs> I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted, and they are the enemy. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fae, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. Hope you stay in town. Mitharu believes in justice, in equality, in order. What order is there when few choose to subjugate the many? Are we not Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the although you have arrived just when yeah. I am in need of aid. So perhaps goodbye. Okay. Cut down the brothers again? of St. Odwig's. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. The Fey are not our enemy. Only those who seek to poison us should. I'll be taking that.
Thank you very much. Hmm. Watch. Be reviled. That includes the brothers of St. Odwigs. Okay, I need to find a frickin'. For a store, anyone got got a uh, place to sell stuff around here? Damn Red Legion! The corner shop. There we go. Need to sell some stuff here. Need something? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Yeah, never mind. Shh. Crap. I'll be here. Crap, crap, crap. You sell some stuff. Jeez. Yeah. It's been a long time since I played this. Alchemy. Oh, come on, freaking. Okay, seriously. You can't tell me that there's no freaking... Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, nice. Cool. Take that. Oh, come on already. Yeah. I seriously need to sell some stuff here. Cast down the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. Insist that St. Odwigs admit monks of all sexes and races into its ranks, or tell them to peddle their poison elsewhere. Seriously? No, no. Hello. Uh -uh. Corner 
shop. Okay, here we go. Need to sell some stuff. Can I help you? Nice. Cool. Okay. I'll be here. Greetings. Did you see the war sworn at the inn? I wonder if he's trying to find new hirelings. Maybe I should volunteer. Okay. Greetings. Hello. Welcome to Gorehart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Sell. Sell. Yes, sell. sell all junk oh what it won't let me sell junk really really I guess I'm gonna have to sell Come see me again. Inventory, weapons, primary, no. The beast, oh yeah, much better, hell yeah. Oh, great swords. Hmm. That's right, the beast. The beast.
Wait a minute. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna sell yes. some stuff what that I need? need, so yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of the flame because don't need it. And the mountain because don't need it. At least I don't think so. Anyways. Come see me again. Alright. Yeah, you know what? This is wow. This is definitely something. Okay. Head back out, go back to the uh, go back to the um, chest and see if they got any more stuff for me. Really? Heck with it, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save it right here because why the hell not? All right, cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. I will definitely be coming back to this game whenever I need a break from, say, Fallout 4. Or whatever. <laughs> yep. Alright. Anyways. Yeah. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay safe out there. You know, if you if you uh, if you enjoy my videos, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, comment if you want, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any content and share with your friends. So yeah. Y'all have, have a good one, guys. This is Max signing off. Take it easy.